most of the independent parties are part of Occupy. Are they? Yes. Well, I thought it was more union. What we're trying to spread is real democracy. You know, power to the people. Like when, when we come up to a decision over here, you know, we do it as a, a group consensus. Isn't that socialism? I believe so. I believe so y'all support democratic socialism? Yes. Okay. That's what that's what we that's what we're trying to spread for our country. You know, this movement actually started in Wall Street, New York. In Washington? No, Wall Street. Oh, Wall Street. And I then, thought it, okay. Yeah, I've been to the Occupy in BC. Yes, that's where I'm going to uh, in a few months. You better take some rat poison. Yeah. <laughs> I heard it's been occupied by the rats. Yeah, it has actually. That's what I heard too. Yeah, I'd watch out because you get bit by them and you're going to get real sick. Nope, um, that's why I got these. These will take care of those. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> yeah. We went there and it's all concrete. There's no grass. And, you know, it's a concrete park there. Yeah. Okay. So, um, they don't have the facilities like y'all have here. No, not every, not everyone do. I, I was at Occupy Miami on yeah. October 17th, and I came here about two and a half weeks ago. Uh -huh. And we don't even have a fire over there. In the Miami? Well, we went to the one in Philadelphia, I mean in D.C., <clears throat> and then we stopped at the coffee shop across the street, and there was a lot of guys from the union. They were going down to the union hall, and they were giving them showers and giving them a place to take naps and things like that. So that's why I was asking if it was union organized, because that I seem to find that common um, denominator at most of the Occupy movements. We actually support the unions. We do. Yes. So in return, I guess they're supporting us, because unions are not corporations which means that they don't have all the money in the world to give to the government so that they don't have the same. You don't think corporate, you don't think unions have the money like corporations I mean, do? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that they're not using their money like the corporations are. See, the corporations, they're putting their money into politics and bribing our politicians so that they have the same government. Is it the union in the White House? Uh, that, as far as that, I don't know. I'm think, uh, I guess I'm thinking about local unions. Oh, okay, because the national unions, I know that they come in the White House quite often and deal with the White House and have meetings with the president quite often. I thought they were one and one with him. I don't think they're too happy with him anymore, are they? Oh, no. Ever since Occupy started, nobody was proud of Obama because we exposed what Obama's really doing. What's he really doing? The complete opposite of what he Good says. Morning. Larry Seth, how you doing? How you doing, Larry? Okay. I heard that you did some time. You out and free now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bet you're happy about that. You, uh, want, you want to know what the word on the street is? That we had a fire on the lawn, which is why the sheriffs came. They said there was nobody out here and the fire was on the lawn. Yesterday? Mm -hmm. I was sitting right here. What'd they do? Took the fire things and put it out, told me I couldn't have that fire pit no more. They did what now? Told me we couldn't have our fire pit no more. That, that particular one. Oh, okay, because it was open. But we still, had, a... we still had a crate on it. Boat just had four sides, huh. and so they went and got their fire extinguisher and put it out. What are y'all planning on doing about when y'all leave here? When are y'all planning on doing that? We mean. When are y'all leaving? They have a set day. Nope. It's, it's, an in it's an indefinite protest. As long as it lasts, as long as, as long as it takes to do what we want to do. Y'all expect them to come and haul y'all off at any time? No, nah, we don't file suit against the county. Well, didn't they file suit against y'all also? They did first. Right. And then we turned around and filed suit against them. And we're winning our case already. And we done filed. We done, they done how been served. How are you winning your case? They done been served papers. Well, how are you winning your case? Well, because the Sunshine Law is states now that they can't have secret meetings no more like they used to have behind the closed doors. Mm -hmm. That they have to post it. But they're going to have any kind of meetings now, and anybody's welcome to go to their meetings. Well, when are y'all's meetings? We have one tomorrow at 4. Tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Is that open for anybody? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Are they videotaping any of these and putting them online? Sometimes we have, they're putting it on the news sometimes. We have news people out here, but most of the time when we have a meeting, we got people to take the minutes and then they post them on the Sometimes on we do have people videotaping. What happened to the group that got let go? I heard there was a lot of them that was put off of Facebook. They weren't allowed to post on Facebook and they feel like they're they're not part of the movement anymore. Well, that, that problem's been solved. They, they did that because we had a lot of, a lot of people who are who were putting bad stuff on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So they took it so that nobody did it. And well, then who's they, determining whether it's bad or not? I thought y'all were leaderless. We are. Yeah, we are. Then it, was a group, it was a group decision. <laughs> it was a group decision. And then, I thought it was only 12 people at the meeting that decided that. The whole, the whole group decided no. that. No, she 
talking about something else. Oh, she's yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah. Um, I know what you're talking about because I've done been in one of them. So. Uh, what happened there? Uh, they was want me to leave. I couldn't leave. Why? Because they felt that uh, it was time to pack it in. That group did. Oh, she's talking about Shane. What Shane did? Mm-hmm. What happened oh. with Shane? Because when I was here last, I talked to Shane. And the day after that, it seems like he's no longer part of the group. Because he did an interview that he was asked not to do. Right. On, on TV. Mm-hmm. And then he was asked to retract it. And he refused. Because he told him that we... He told me we was leaving on the 16th. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. People had already decided who was going to stay and who wasn't going to stay. Okay, so the, the collective group decided who was going to stay and who's not going to stay, so they're not giving them the right to determine on their own when they're going to go? I guess. Because they wanted me to pack up and leave on the 16th. Why would they do that? Because they felt that at, at that time, I guess, was because they figured they was going to come in here and make us leave. And then Shane went to the next day and posted, didn't post it, but he did an interview with Channel 3. And said that uh, we was packing up was the And then we had to meet here at the same time to determine that as long as the Occupy is going and going strong, that who chooses to stay to stay. So I chose to stay. I've been here 81 days. I know you've been hearing it since the beginning. I've been following it. When I'm not down here, I'm down on Facebook reading what everybody's writing. And um, I knew there was a lot of problems going on. I thought, her name was Jessica or Jennifer. She was part of your media group. Yes. She was out here sleeping one day, and then I came and talked to her. And Shane came up and talked to me for a Jessica. little bit. And um, I was hoping that when he talked to me wasn't why he got let go, but I guess it was the interview with Channel 3 is why he got let go? Yes, and then he was asked to retract that statement, you know, to set it straight that he wasn't leaving, mm-hmm. and so he refused it. Why'd he refuse to do that? That's strange. Yes. He was one of those people that wanted to be the boss, pretty much. Well, he said, he told me he was the head of the legal department. And he told you a lot. Yes. Well, who's the head of the legal department? We don't have, we don't have, have a head. Who's making all the decisions? At, 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 as a collective? As a collective. We meet here tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Okay? Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Seven o'clock, we have is the vote. Right. That we decide on what we want to do. Right. What, what steps we want to take. Right. And we vote on it. Mm-hmm. And if it passes, the census, then it's posted to the so when they do decide to eventually finally decide to leave, what are they planning on doing about the home? We don't got that took care of. What you gonna do? You know, I know you've seen the old paper that named Joel. He's gonna be the one. all the stuff to do it with so we've done told him when we leave everything will be just like well i talked to somebody with the county and are they going to allow him to do that because yes um, they, uh, they said I, that yeah i talked to larry uh mackey mm-hmm. from in here he came back here one day and i told him that when we got ready to, to leave that we would put it back like it was and what did he say he said when we got ready Pack up and leave. Let him know he'll get the parts and wrecks out here. Right. And they'll show it, tell us exactly what kind of grass seed they got out here. Right. And we'll redo everything. Y'all know this is this particular building is on the National Historic Registry. No, I didn't know that. You didn't know that. Uh-huh. You know, now it kind of makes me wonder. I haven't looked into it, but does that make this um, more of a federal <laughs> issue and not necessarily just a local issue? Well, they they, they took us to federal court. They did? Yes. Because I lawyered two weeks ago, it's all day in court. Right. Filed under Sunshine uh, Law against right. them. And all their papers, uh, half the people have already been served. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, you know, we was, uh, certain ones was named in a lawsuit. You were on that list, weren't you? And Shane, I know Shane was. No, I wasn't. You weren't. Shane was, I, but I it was what? John Doe and Jane Doe was in there. I know there was a bunch of names, but you weren't listed. Oh, you were probably still in jail then, weren't you? I did. You got listed before we got down. I was in jail on December 18th right. until uh, January, the first week of January. Right. I got out January the 6th. Mm-hmm. But that was something that happened three and a half years ago, which was stupid. So I went to a club with a guy, he didn't have the money, he paid the bar tab when it was time to go, so right. guess what? I got charged the same thing he got charged. Right. So he put me on house arrest. Right. I didn't serve any of them. 
so we worked all six months and give me 60 days, which I, at that time when I went to court, I had already been in there 11 days. So they give you automatically, you know, two to one right. jail. So that's 22 days, so I only had to do eight more days. And I got released. Yeah, no. um, I lost my train of thought, I'm losing it. Um, Are you gonna come tomorrow where I beat? I'll be down here shooting for another shoot that we have, but um, uh, most of our people have been here tomorrow at 3 30. You know how they're planning on handling the lawsuit that they're getting from the county, the suit against them from the county? We got our own attorney. Where'd you get an attorney? They got it. His name's David, uh, what's his last name? David and Levy, I believe. Levy, where's he from? Local? Yes. And then we got some also that's uh, helping us. So we turn this from Washington. Mm-hmm. This happened also. From Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Did they come back down from the Occupy movement? Yes. Do yes. you know who they are? Yeah, I have met them. Are they going to be at the meeting tomorrow? Probably. Probably so. What do they plan on getting out of the meeting tomorrow? I'm not sure because... You don't know what the agenda is? Right now, for tomorrow. I don't know what the agenda is until our people get here. The media team. Because I'm here 99.9% .9 of the time during the week by myself. I think the last time I came, you were in jail, so I didn't meet you. But um, I sat out. Here well, I was on the front. I was on the front page of the newspaper two weeks ago. Yeah. I've got it laminated. <laughs> the guy uh, that makes the newspaper every day. Right. He, he took it and got it laminated for me because I believe that'll go down in history one day. I really did. This you think this whole Occupy? Yes. What's their goal, though? Number what are one, they planning on? Number one, getting money out of the politicians. Okay. Getting money out of politics. Yes. Wouldn't they have to get it out of the unions dealing with politics too? What we want to do is the lobbyists get all this money to say they're going to do what they're going to do with it. They don't do with it. We want the money used for what they say they're going to do it, use it for. From the politicians? Yes. The health care, the insurance that we, you know, years ago we can go get what we wanted and what we could afford. Mm -hmm. Now they want us to have what they want us to have. A lot of people you mean Obama's health care bill? Yeah. Y'all don't like the health care no. bill? I can't go out there and afford his insurance. I don't have insurance now. Well, I heard that if you make under, what is it, 5000 or $10,000, you just pay, um, you go on Medicare, but you have to pay Medicare. I'm not, I, I drop food stamps, and I'm not even, I don't even qualify for 10 care or hmm. no kind of health care insurance whatsoever. So you're unemployed? Yes. I, I, before I joined Occupy, I was working. Mm -hmm. I was working for Payton Homes. So you quit work to come do Occupy? No, I got laid off. Oh. And so did not join the Occupy. November, November the 3rd is when I joined. Well, how do, you, how do you afford to stay down here instead of going looking for work? I've got the uh, uh, resumes already in, so I'm just waiting for people to call me. So you're collecting unemployment sitting nope. here? The people in the Occupy take care of you. They're taking care of you? Yep. Hmm. I had one of the girls that's in the Occupy. She graduated from college with two, two degrees. She can't even get a regular job, so she works with her mom and dad in a clothing store. And when I had went to jail, all my stuff got stolen while I was in there. So she brought, uh, she bring me, been bringing me clothes, mm -hmm. her, her place, new clothes. How had. do you eat? Let's That's see, Teresa question. went yes, was it yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, the day before, yeah, the and got uh, brought me a whole loaf of bread, cheese, and bologna. Mm -hmm. And then once a day, we had people bring hot meals out here. Now, Tuesday, I went over here, and Jessica took me over there to eat. Mm -hmm. Tall, skinny Jessica. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday, a mirror took me over there. So I had people just making sure that we... If you weren't doing Occupy, what would you be doing? At the community kitchen. Working or just hanging out? Well, I'd, uh, they, uh, I would try to be trying to do like spot labor. Mm -hmm. Because you know, they have people come through there bring that people for Right, temporary day labor. Yeah. See, I got income taxes coming, so I'm going to invest that. I'm going to give me another vehicle because I used to be mobile now. I'm not. So I've already got somebody that's going to help me get me a vehicle. Mm -hmm. so give me two. So I made $9,600 last year. Hmm. So, so I'll get, you know, get enough to where I can get me a vehicle. A decent vehicle still has some money. Now, the question I have is I've seen some homeless people. There's one right down the street in front of the bank, the Bank of America, I believe, sitting on the corner. Why aren't the homeless people allowed to camp out down here, but they allowed y'all to do that? <coughs> They're allowed to come. They're allowed to come here? As long as they are willing to participate in with the Occupy, not just to be hanging out, not doing anything. 
Okay, as long as they're doing so. What are, they, what are y'all doing though? Just hanging out, occupying. Here about, what, 3 o'clock every day, 3.30. We get out here. We got other people comes up here on walls. We stand out here. Right. And we hold our signs. We got a bunch of signs. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah it's on the median time right now because it's raining. And which is the reason why we're not holding a sign because it's raining. What's the response y'all have had? Positive? Oh, man, yes. Get a lot I, can't, of I mean, I, I can't believe the responses that we have from a lot of people. Oh, well, I see the city of Chattanooga is helping you out with a free parking spot over there. Yeah, we've had that three months now, I think. Uh, for, uh, for first, they was going to let us have one over here on 6th Street, a uh, meter. Yeah, they was going to give us a meter. Right. right. So we made preparations for everything in order to, to pour the party. So on the day that they, we decided we was going to be delivered, and they changed their mind and said, no, uh, y'all going to have to pay for that meter, for, meter now. But plus, we pay for our food money, eighty dollars a month. They was wanting to charge us fifteen dollars a day for the meter. So that one's worth what? About fifteen dollars a day to park? If you were paying for that? Probably. And you've been there over seventy days now. That's a lot of money. The city's allowing y'all to. Well, when they found free. out what they did to us, right? They said they got in contact with our legal group. They said bring you forty potty, and we'll have a spot marked out for you. The city sought you out and offered to do that yep. for y'all? Yep. Well, isn't that kind of enabling y'all? The city is actually enabling you to occupy county property. Us. Isn't that kind of it's weird? They support us. They support us. Today we came up here. The night we moved up here from the city council building. Right. Chief Dobbs came up here and said, we got to put your tents up because it's going to rain. As soon as we put our tents up, they've been up ever since. And we've been asked to take them down. Hmm. Now, attorney has advised us if they if something happens and they do come and say for us to take them down, mm -hmm. go ahead and take them down because it's not uh, feasible at this time for anybody to go to jail. Well, it's not, I was at the meeting, the first meeting y'all had out there in front of the city council after the city council meeting. Right. We videotaped that. We went out back and they had that meeting and the chief came out there and talked to you and um, the city councilman um, um, Andre came out there and talked to y'all, and yes. some other people talked yeah. to y'all. Yeah. Um, and then that's when he was telling y'all, wasn't the, sh the sheriff telling y'all this is the different places that you could go to in the county yeah. and all the different yeah. parks? Uh -huh. um, why didn't they stay on the city property? Because at Miller Park, we could have took Miller Park. Right. Down in the slope down there. Right. Not visible for the people to see. Right. At all. And it's not really, it's not really accessible to set up the tents. Uh -huh. so then, that's when we chose this place. The, the, before the next city council meeting, we had already decided we was moving. Right. And this is where we was coming to. Hmm. I'm just wondering why the county property versus the city property instead of the city. It was more visible than here. Yeah. And you, it has yeah, it got more, more more responses from people and everything. Don't you get more traffic over there, though, in front of the Miller Plaza? But if, you're down, the, that, but if you're down in that slope, they can't see you can't see it's way down. And even yeah. if they can, and, and the hill, you know how the hills are there mm -hmm. oh, at the park. Yeah. You could sit no tent up. It has nothing to do with the fact there's a bunch of homeless people sitting over there every day. Uh, from what I've understood, uh, they're not uh, here a couple months ago. That the homeless people were allowed to sleep in the apartment more like they used to. Well, I've, they, I've been told that's been years they haven't been able to sleep, and I thought the homeless people got upset because they were allowing y'all to put up tents, and they're not allowed to sleep downtown in the parks. I hadn't heard nothing about that. You think that's unfair? I, Go ahead. I think it's unfair that they think that they can't come here. So well, somebody, I don't know that they think they can't come here, but I think that the, I have heard a couple so we, people we say, you've got to conduct. watch who comes in right. here because of the code of conduct. Well, we have a code of conduct. <clears throat> so if y'all two want to come and join, set up your tent. Right. I'd, go to, to, I'd go to the media tent, give you a piece of paper mm -hmm. that we, we go by, and if people don't want to abide by that, then they can't stay. Right. Because we're a peaceful protest. It's not like it was when it started out in Wall Street, out the police and everything's been involved. That's why even the county, the county cops are on our side because if they come up and ask us to do something, we do it right then. And that's what they like about us, because they ain't had no confrontation with any of us and had, right. had to arrest none of us. Well, I know down in D.C., somebody threw, I think it was a smoke bomb over the yeah, I heard about the White that. House. Yeah, I heard about that. If you're that. going to D.C., that was, that was that's an an a enterprise. whole totally different group up there, by the way. Yeah. Well, I'm going up there, me and uh, Beth Foster yeah. is leaving here on the 30th of March. We're going up there for a week. Why? Check that. Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of our people right now is just getting back from Washington. Right. So they can bring the ideas here tomorrow for our meeting. We That's, went up uh, to D.C. and we videotaped it. There's no grass up there, Larry. It's all concrete. The whole thing is just a concrete section. Part. It's almost like a city block. Just like uh, Nashville. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not as comfortable as you've got it here. This is almost like being in a county park in this area see, where y'all are in. But see, in my tent, I got a bed. Oh, they have those too. They also have a legal tent, a medical tent. But when we went there, it was pretty freezing right. and um, windy and cold. And there's there wasn't a lot of things going on. I think they were at a protest at a military base. They were protesting the military base. And um, you know why they was. Um, do you remember why they were at the mill the Navy base? Oh, it was the guy, the guy with Wikipedia, that leaked the, the Wikipedia guy. No, WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks. I'm sorry, the WikiLeaks um, soldier is being detained there, right. and um, they were protesting him being arrested. Yeah. That's what us occupiers do. Like, because uh, in Occupy Miami last week, um, they had seven people over at Occupy FIU, which is at a college mm -hmm. in Miami. A seven, uh, seven people got arrested illegally and what they did was when, when those seven people were in jail they had hundreds of people in front of that jail with signs protesting and they let them go why so, were they arrested um let me see if i remember this um they were holding like uh, this little musical party thing peaceful party whatever celebrating i forgot what they were celebrating and you know the at first they were granted permission to be there and I guess, I don't know, somebody says something that the police showed up and told everyone to come to take it down and seven, seven people got arrested. So instead of waiting until it was hashed out in court, they went out and protested out in the front yard and got them released? Yeah. That's strange. They, they, were, in, they were in jail for seven hours. I think you're fixing it a lot of loud 